Hi, my name is Lori Wigan and this is Paul Bissonette. Um, we got together and planned this year's John Lewis Day, but uh, Sebastian Bates last year when he was interning for the town uh, put a proposal together for the town to make John Lewis Day the first Saturday in October of every year. The town made a, passed a resolution, so from now until forever, the first Saturday in October will be John Lewis Day. We were kind of amazed that, that there was no celebration in town for John Lewis, ever, the man who, after whom the town is named. So we uh, decided it made a lot of sense to do it. And since he was a member of this parish back in the 1800s, it made sense for this to be the place to do it. Decidedly, one of a series of major benefactors to this town. Not perfect by any means, but did he make a contribution to the place he lived? Certainly. He made a contribution by giving money for education. He made a contribution by giving land to this church. He made a contribution to the whole community to make us a better place. We are very privileged to live, in fact, in a town where there have been a series of significant benefactors. We have got Alice Paul, who lived and owned on a tree, which she gave to the town together with a significant amount of land. We've also got her contribution to the town over the years as a remarkably active citizen. And I seem to remember specifically as a benefactor of the firehouse in the very early days. We've got Adam Rose and Peter McQuinlan today who've given land, who've given a large amount of money to our library, who have given uh, land to the school. We've got Shelby White, who has given us a preserve and has made contributions to a significant other number of um, good causes in town. But that's not really the end of being a part of the community. It's great to have these people, and many others who I haven't mentioned, who have given large amounts of money, or used money, or given land, or whatever. But most of us are truthfully in no position to buy a large amount of land and give it to the school or give it to the community in some way. But most of us can do a large amount for this town by contributing to a whole lot of things that make the town what it is. The most obvious in this community is to give, in the community I'm talking to, is to give to your church. Not just in terms of giving money, but in terms of making it a vibrant force in the community. I happen to believe that the stronger our churches are, the stronger our youth will be as they grow up. As they grow up. We have got preserves. Those preserves are essentially maintained by volunteers. There is almost no town money that goes into keeping the preserves. You. The, um, at the back of Honor Tree has just been entire, the trails there have been entirely redone. The trails over at Leon Levy are being expanded and made a, and they will be a, a major asset to the town. All the Boy Scouts in this town, and there are many others who've done work over Yonge Bridge and other places, 
have made a very real contribution as volunteers to the community. The number of school committees is, uh, the, sorry, the number of town committees is amazing. All the way from landmarks to zoning to planning to uh, parks and rec to preserves, it goes on and on and on and on. All of no, no member of any of those committees receives one penny for their work. That is a huge contribution to making the town work and making it represent the people in the community. You've got school committees. Again, nobody gets paid. And when we complain about the schools going off and doing things that we don't like, we have to remember that or ask ourselves, did we volunteer to serve? We've got the library. The library has got a huge volunteer contribution in this town. The library fair raises a lot of the money to run that library. All the money to expand the library comes from donations, from fundraising, from all kinds of activities by the people in the community. Our sports programs are mainly the result of volunteers who get out there and make it happen. So what I'm really asking you to do is to continue the tradition of giving <coughs> to your community, not just with money, but with your labor and time. And I hope we will continue to do that. Thank you.
what they used to be. There's a lot of things I wish I had left behind. It happens in the sense of a day. Who I could be so best taken of all. Yeah, yeah. 
Channel 20.